As requested by one of you in the comment section, we will be looking at how to access the internal storage or file system of an Android phone from another Android phone. The first step is to head over to the Google Play Store on the device you want to access. Search for AND FTP and install the app. Now let's get our FTP server up and running on the source device. After launching AND FTP, you will see a prompt asking you to create a server. Don't worry, it's a piece of cake. First, give your server configuration a name like my FTP server. Then choose a listening port. This is like a virtual door for your FTP server. So by default, it is set to 21. That is the port number is always set to 21 by default. So feel free to change it if you like. Next up, let's configure the authentication settings. Now, create a username and password that will act as your secret code to access the FTP server. Select the home directory, that is the initial directory that the FTP client will access. You can either choose the root directory or a specific folder. Make it your digital heaven. For added security, we can enable SSL TLS encryption by selecting the FTPS support option. Safety is important, right? Once you are done, just tap on the save button to create your shiny new FTP server. Now, our FTP server is ready to rock and roll, but hold on tight, we are not done yet. Now, let us set up our FTP client on the destination device. Now, with an FTP installed on the destination device, let's open it up and get connected. Now, look for the open connection button. It's like a folder icon with a lightning bolt. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> now, in the connection settings, it's time to enter the details. So input the server's IP address or host name. The listening ports, of course, we already said it's uh, set to 21 by default. So if you had changed it, you have to also set up the new port that you changed it to on the server and the username and password that you set for your FTP server. If you are a security conscious individual, make sure to check the FTPS checkbox for that extra layer of protection. Once that is done, you are now connected. So take a look at the screen. There is the file system of the FTP server, ready to be explored. Please note that the two devices have to be connected to either a Wi-Fi network or through mobile data to the internet to enable the two devices to communicate. So once you have connected device A to the file system of device B, you can scroll through, see whatever files are there in that device. If you need to transfer files, you can copy and paste just like you would have done from one folder to another in your current device. That's it. You have successfully set up your own FTP server using AND FTP and accessed it from another Android device using the AND FTP client. Now you can easily transfer files, share documents, and have complete control over your file system. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that it opens up a world of possibilities for your Android devices. If you enjoyed this video, click on the video on your screen now to watch another insightful tutorial. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting tech tutorials. See you in the next one.